Can you live without a pulse? Sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie, right? But it's very real. In fact, today close to 14,000 patients are living without a pulse, thanks to an incredible device called the LVAD, or Left Ventricular Assist Device. Let's dive into this fascinating world and discover how people are alive and well without a heartbeat. To understand this, we need to take a quick look at how the heart works. Normally, your heart pumps blood in rhythmic pulses, that familiar lub-dub sound. It's your heart squeezing blood through your body in waves. But what happens when that pump starts to fail? Heart failure is one of the leading causes of death worldwide. When the heart can't pump blood efficiently anymore, things get critical. Enter the LVAD. Uh, this device is a game changer for people with severe heart failure. It's, it's basically a mechanical pump that helps the heart do its job. But here's the wild part. Unlike your natural heart, which pumps in beats, the LVAD provides a continuous flow of blood. That's right, no pulse. So how does it work? The LVAD is surgically implanted and connects to the left ventricle, the heart's main pumping chamber, and the aorta, the body's largest artery. Instead of the heart contracting and relaxing, the LVAD spins at high speeds to keep blood flowing constantly. Think of it like a high-tech turbine for your blood, keeping you alive even when the heart struggles to keep up. Here's the mind-blowing part. Because the LVAD provides continuous blood flow, there's no traditional pulse. In some LVAD patients, you might not feel a pulse or hear a heartbeat. Imagine, alive and well, but with no heartbeat. It's like your body is running on a silent engine. And here's another fascinating fact. Today, thousands of patients with LVADs are going about their lives, working, spending time with family, and doing things they love, all without a pulse. But the big question is, can you really live without a pulse? The answer is yes. Thanks to the LVAD, many patients live fulfilling lives even while waiting for a heart transplant or as long-term therapy. It helps reduce symptoms of heart failure like shortness of breath, fatigue, and swelling, and dramatically improves quality of life. However, LVADs come with their own set of challenges. For one, the device needs constant power, so patients have to carry around battery packs. There's also a risk of infection where the device exits the body, as well as the possibility of blood clots and strokes. Regular monitoring and maintenance are critical to ensure the device works smoothly and the patient stays healthy. So who gets an LVAD? Typically, it's used for patients with end-stage heart failure, either as a bridge to heart transplant or as a destination therapy for those who aren't eligible for a transplant. It's not a cure, but it's one of the most advanced treatments we have for keeping people alive while their heart can't do the job on its own. The most fascinating part about LVADs is how they've changed our understanding of life and death.